is somebody's birthday. Somebody's turning 40, the big 4-0, Johnny Scheidler. And I have known you for 43 of those 40 years, man. We have spent a lifetime together. We have a ton of memories, you and I, man. When I think about you, I, I, a lot of things flood my mind. And I, I'm just going to throw them out here, some of them. I'm going to have you explain them later. Like, for instance, Johnny, remember that one birthday party that you had and your sister hired the stripper, the police girl stripper, to come over and dance for your church friends? And there you were, man, with your long, blonde, flowing, gorgeous hair and your, your shirt off and all ripped pecs and everything sitting there handcuffed to your chair, man. WWJD, John. WWJD. When I think of you, man, I, I think of Keebler elves playing drums, chocolate chip drum sets in, in their tree houses. When I think of you, I think of houseboat trips. I think of you uh, hanging off the side of a, a cliff and, and, and dropping a number two, uh, the big deuce, a, a duty, in the water with no one looking. Uh, no one looking except me, that was, and of course our sons that came around the corner and then you had some explaining to do. We have done some things that we're not proud of. Like remember that time that you had, oh that Time. What am I saying? Remember how you used to take a fan and stick it in front of your drum set so that your long flowing Nelson Twins hair would be gone in the wind, in the faux wind, I might add, as you were sitting back there drumming and spinning your drumsticks for all the lady folk, like you were in a white snake video or something like that, man. I will never forget those days. Now we have, unfortunately, showered together. Uh, we have spooned uh, to keep one another warm in the moonlight. And you, John Scheidler, have a collection of leather, leather goods that I have envied my entire life. I mean, leather pants for your 13 inch waist that man, I've only dreamed about getting into. And let me rephrase that. I wanted to, I wanted to wear those pants, but I never look good in leather pants. And uh, I, mean, I tried them on once, but I, I kind of looked like a, a cow coming out of a tar pit or something. No, not many people know this man, but you are also the incredible rock singer. You have been the front man for a rock band before. Hold on, just a second. There to see flesh. And man, I have shared the stage with you. And man, those were some humorous times because you were always the rock and roll extravaganza kind of guy. And we kind of had the country rock thing going. It was like, it was like Randy Travis being on the same billing as Gore or something like that. And, and Johnny, man, you, uh, you amaze me. And I always wanted to be you. I always wanted to be Johnny Scheidler uh, because there's no one like you. I can't wait for the nights with you. I imagine the things we'll do. I just want to be loved by you, Scorpions, off the Blackout album. And I remember being on the stage with you and you running back and forth and, and your, your hair flowing in the wind. Man, it was, it was like you were always rock and I was more of a crock. And, and I just wanted to be with you, man. I just wanted to be like you. And I remember you singing, Abomination of desolation, counting to the seventieth week, a wedding here, a wedding there. Dude, I will never forget that. And now, I hear you're in a new band, a rock and roll band. A rock and roll band, Johnny Scheidler. What? What? Chris Tomlin and David Crowder weren't cutting it for you. You had to do something just a little bit more flashy. You already got the chick, man. I don't know what you're trying to do. But I think that's awesome. I'm proud of you. Uh, although I do hear the band's name is Stepchild. What the freak is up with that, man? The 1986 called and wants its band name back. But, uh, you know, I guess it could be worse. You don't have, like, a color tied to your name or an animal. That would be really bad. That would be totally it's like if you were a white stepchild, then we really have a problem. Well, man, I wrote a song for you, and I want to share it from the bottom of my heart. You know, I mean, I'm not quite the rock star you are. Um, I always wanted to be you, but I was content to let you shine. I always walked a, 
a step behind. Did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything. Everything I wish I could be. Anyway, I wrote a song for you guys. Here it is, man. 1969 Gibson Hummingbird. Just dusted this beauty out just for you tonight. Now it's time to rosin up my bow and make some beautiful music for you. Hope it doesn't make you weep. That's the end, man. I'm just looking at myself in the video now, and I look pretty good, if you know what I'm saying. Now, I also know that you're gonna need a few poses for your new rock thing, all right? So, I got my guitar here. I got the guitar here, and uh, I'm going to give you some ideas, all right? Now, if you were in a Christian band, this is how you would pose. Or this is also another popular Christian band pose right here. i got to get it like this. i got to put the guitar down like this. That's pretty good. Here's a good one. Now, if you were in a country band, you'd do it like this. I think that's a pretty good one. But you're in a rock band, man, so I want you to remember this, okay? You remember this right here, man, because this is the rock band. It's the money shot. Except I don't think I would be holding a Gibson Hummingbird in a rock shoot. I'd be holding like a Les Paul or a Gibson 
SG or something like that. Probably not even a strat for the kind of band that you're in. But uh, anyway, remember this. You just remember. Uh, I know you're a drummer, but you can borrow a guitar. You can do something like that. All right, dude, that's the end of the video. Wish I could be there for your birthday, man, but I'm not because you are there and I am over here. But, man, glad you got to see me. Love you. Peace out.